Merry Christmas, mobility lovers! Today is Sunday, my name is Henrik, and this is Valis Mobility Video number 51. When mobility training becomes strength training. In this week's video, you can follow along as I do a little bit more video editing this time. In this video, I will be showing you examples of how you can make your strength training into a mobility training. So in this video, you will see me using progressively heavier barbells and challenging myself in various positions which are tough on both the strength and the mobility part of the body. First movement, I have sped up two times speed. I'm actually doing static overhead squat uh, bottom holds for 60 seconds. So in this video you'll see me gradually getting a narrower grip which forces different rotation in the shoulder joint and forces more of a demand on stability and mobility. So apart from the Santa Claus hat you see my hands are fairly close together this is about as close as I can get without feeling super uncomfortable. Play around with this set a timer you can do this with barbells or PVC pipe, which, whichever comes in handy to you. Great way, low complexity, very much yields results regardless. I do 3 times 60 seconds with a grip that's getting narrower. Next up is a new favorite of mine. They are called ATG split squats. I'm stealing these ones from the internet. You see me split squatting, pushing my front knee very far forward to the point where my heel let, lets go off the ground. This targets my vastus medialis, which is the teardrop on the inside of the knee. And I'm really getting a deep, deep stretch in all of my body, including the toes on my back foot. Doing these will bulletproof your knees and they will give you a new strength and mobility challenge. You see, I am working on my toes quite a lot. I'm getting a deep hip bend and the barbell, which weight you can adjust by yourself, will be what uh, decides whether it's a strength session or a mobility session. Moving on, we're going to fold at the hips. I'm sitting down on a bench I'm pushing my knees out, assuming a wide stance, and I'm doing so-called seated good mornings. You kind of see my knees wanting to cave in a bit, which probably means I'm lacking mobility somewhere. Uh, for me, I am tight in the hamstrings, for example, and the seated position with the bent knee helped me do a forward fold at the hips. Keep your chest up, eight to 10 reps. In this one, I'm actually doing, this is the first normal speed video of this video. You see me doing ATG back squats. The barbell's on my shoulders, and if you look closely, I'm actually standing on my toes as I squat down. You can do this high rep for, you know, hypertrophy. You can also do this low rep for strength. This will make you strong, resilient and flexible in your entire lower body. Of course, you start off with lighter weights and you build the foundation. You can then progress on to heavier weights. Squat down as deep as you can and build those strong toes and those strong angles. I'm adding uh, an angle from the side, speeding up two times speed You'll see me struggling a bit. I have roughly 90 kilos on the barbell, which is no joke to me. After a few of these, you are soon ready for your heavy strength session. So, I'm just going to do one more squat variation. These are my beloved Cossack squats. I'm placing the bar on my back. I have loaded up the bar and I get a deep, deep workout with lots of strength in my long adductors and 
along with my quadriceps. Great movement which you can progress with heavier weights if you just want a strength workout. Guaranteed to make you cry afterwards or during. These are indeed very brutal. They will kill your hamstrings and adductors unless you are ready for it. In the art of resiliency, we move on. There is nothing as cool as a heavy and deep back squat. So, the last thing I did in this session were in fact full depth paused back squats. You see me in my socks, no lifters on. Maybe you can see a rounding of the lower back. For that, I'm sorry, internet. That's an area of improvement of mine. Once you have played around with different exercises, you can then reduce complexity and make sure you get a good strength workout while you're at it. Full range of motion in the back squat, just simply going heavier and lower in the repetition will make you stronger in absolute strength. So, in this video I am merely doing uh, descending reps. Here in the last video I believe I have 140 kilograms. Just gonna do one more rep for the camera to finish this session off. And you see me struggle. That's everything I have for you today folks. I say thank you very much for tuning in on this lovely Sunday. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much and see you 